Hello. So this week you've been learning about how to describe a person in ASL. And you have two options, the blank person or the monster. <laughs> They're both fine. So I want you to color them. You can make it look like you or you can come up with your own. So here's my example. And I gave you a list of the proper order for signing, describing a person. And you can write it, kind of like make a cheat sheet for yourself. So what I'm looking for is show me your picture and then sign an accurate description of this picture using the correct order. You do not have to pose at the end unless you just if you want to, you can. So here's my example. Are you ready? Okay, so let me walk you through that. So this is a girl. You could also say woman or boy and man. Okay, um, ethnicity, you just pinch your cheek. Ethnicity is white or you could say black or Mexican. I signed European, which is an E, European. Asian, Asian. Um, you could say mixed, <laughs> you could say half, half black, half white. The sign for white is white face. Um, if you wanted to be specific, you could. Um, you might need to do a little research if you wanted to be like, oh, Samoan or Filipino. You'll have to do a little research, but just basic generic white and black is perfectly fine. Okay, the body type. So height is what I'm looking for. So tall, short. Um, this is a sign for height. If you wanted to be specific, you could sign height 5'8 or 5'10, you know, 4'3, <laughs> whatever. Height or just tall, short, average. And then most of us are just going to say average, average. If you want, you could say muscular. Maybe your monster is muscular, like this, muscular. Thin. Fat. You can make your person fat if you want to. And then you sign eyes, and then you sign the color, and then hair, and you sign the color, and then it's important to add a classifier to describe the hair. So like my hair right now, I would go hair, light brown or blonde, and long. Okay, but maybe you have a mohawk or bangs, or your hair's in a ponytail. Um, you know, you just describe, use a classifier to describe the hair. And then the clothing, right? So you always point to the object and then um, sign it. So shirt, pink, right? Pants, it's like this. Pants are blue. You could fingerspell jeans if you want. Um, shoes are brown and then I added belt belt is brown and then a purple hair clip purple hair clip you could also add accessories like a necklace or a watch or jewelry or rings and then usually you pose if you're talking about someone and you were like pointing them out like oh that girl over there she's seated like this or that girl reading a book you know, or that uh, woman dancing over there. Do you see her dancing? So you can describe them in more detail. But all I'm going to expect from you 
is for you to color your person or your monster if you want to have some fun. And then sign the gender, girl or boy, ethnicity, the body type, height and weight, um, clothing, and remember, uh, point to the clothing, describe the clothing. And then uh, that's it. Oh, and accessories. Yeah, clothing is first and then accessories. So that is your assignment, okay? The general idea, we're gonna learn this in chapter nine, is you always start big and then you go small. So like in chapter nine, we're gonna learn house and community signs. So when you describe a house, the first thing you're gonna tell me is like what color it is. What is it? Is it an apartment or is it a house? Um, and like, oh, there's a big tree in front of it. So like the basics. And then you get into the specifics. You don't describe the flowers before you describe the color of the house. You know what I mean? So same thing is true when you're describing a nature scene. If it's, um, you know, a landscape of the northern lights, then you would sign uh, northern lights first or like mountain, you know, don't describe the grass, describe the big thing that you see and then go into more and more detail. So like this, the first thing you see is she's a female, she's a woman, then her ethnicity, then her body type, height, then her hair and her eyes and her clothing and accessories are last. Understand? All right, good luck.